Hi everyone, I'm Amy Wolf, and this is your ViewCast. Some of Vanderbilt's most celebrated athletes are being honored in a big way. Vanderbilt is building a first ever Athletics Hall of Fame as part of a $60 million capital improvement project, and we now know who will be in the inaugural class. The inductees include Chantel Anderson, who is the most decorated basketball player in Vandy history. She played from 1999 to 2003 and then went on to the WNBA. Peggy Harmon Brady was a golf All-American from 1968 to 72. John Hall played football for Vandy from 1951 to 54. He was Vanderbilt's first academic All-American and later became president of the Board of Trust. Roy Kramer was director of athletics from 1978 to 1990. At the time of his retirement as Southeastern Conference Commissioner, many considered him the most powerful man in college sports. Clyde Lee, nicknamed Colossal Clyde, played basketball from 1963 to 66. He says his whole team helped create the memorial magic of those unbelievable seasons. Remember, I wasn't out there playing by myself. I had a lot of teammates uh, uh, playing with me, and, and that was a fun time. We had incredible fans, the best fans in the SEC, and uh, uh, did not lose very often. We, we were always ranked in top ten in the nation, and we beat a lot of top ten teams here, including Duke and Kentucky and teams like that. Head football coach from 1904 to 1934, Dan McGugan, is the next inductee. He is the most successful coach in Vandy history. John Rich was a football and baseball player from 1945 to 51 and later became a member of the Board of Trust. Fred Russell is being honored as a Commodore baseball player from 1925 to 26 and the beloved sports writer of the Nashville Banner from 1929 to 1998. Russell is considered one of the greatest sports journalists of the 20th century. If he had been alive and heard this, he would say there must be some mistake. Call the chancellor's office and make sure. Because <laughs> he would be so honored to be in this group of fabulous athletes and people who've helped Vanderbilt. He loved Vanderbilt so much. Ryan Tolbert ran track and field from 1994 to 98. She's the only Commodore to ever win an individual NCAA championship. Bill Wade played football from 1949 to 51 and later became quarterback of the world champion Chicago Bears. Perry Wallace was a star student and basketball player from 1966 to 70 and was the SEC's first African American basketball player. And the final inductee may not be an athlete, but spent 28 years helping hundreds of Vandy athletes, coaches and employees. June Stewart joined the athletic department in 1973 as a secretary. By the time she retired almost three decades later as Vandy's associate athletics director, she was one of the most influential women in the Southeastern Conference. Stewart says she was overcome when she heard about her place in the new Hall of Fame. Well, to be a woman, you'll understand this, tears. Because I didn't, I didn't play anything. You know, I sat behind a desk and uh, really was given a tremendous opportunity. Like I said, I came in just when women were just beginning to be a part of athletics. The inductees will be honored September 13th. The Hall of Fame building should be open by the fall of 2009. You can read more about the Hall of Fame inductees on vucommodores.com. There's more to great health care than just medicine. While doctors and nurses focus on patient care, they often lack the business skills needed to manage an office or clinic, which can sometimes trickle down to the patient. Well, the Owen Graduate School of Management is starting a new program to help that. The part-time Master of Management in Healthcare program will launch this fall. Read all about it at owen.vanderbilt.edu. Hauling bags of groceries or playing with the kids in the pool are great ways to build your upper body strength. But if you don't want to stock up on canned goods every day, Princine Lewis and Vandy's strength and conditioning coach Mark Davis show how to buff up your upper body in this week's Muscle Minute. 
we're here again with Mark Davis, assistant strength and conditioning coach, and my special guest, my mom, and we're gonna be doing a little upper body work. So Mark, what are we gonna to do today? Okay, we did some pulls uh, to start out, and now we're, or some pushes, and now we're gonna do a pull. And to do this, we're gonna, again, we're gonna have our bench here, but again, this can be a couple of chairs, so long as they're stable and not scooting around. And we're gonna put one knee and the hand on that same side of the body up, this foot's down and we're gonna reach down. We're gonna, I've got a five pound dumbbell here, but again, this can be any object that has weight to it uh, that's easy to, to get a grip on. And we're gonna hold it down here at arm's length and we're gonna pull and we're gonna initiate that pull with our shoulder blade on that side of the body and pull our scapula or our shoulder blade into to our spine as far as we can. And then we're gonna pull this all the way up to shoulder height. So we're pointing our elbow to the ceiling and then lowering it back down under control. And we're gonna get to all the way to arm's length and we're gonna repeat that same process, okay? And when we've done whatever number of repetitions on this side of the body, we're just gonna switch over to the other side of the bench and do the same number of repetitions over here. Next time on Muscle Minute, even more upper body exercises. For ViewCast, I'm Princine Lewis.